Good evening. This is the Reverend Laura Strauss of Sunset Hills United Presbyterian Church with our children's sermon for this Sunday, May 17th, 2020. I have my young friend here with me today, and we will begin by singing Jesus Loves Me together. Are you ready? Yes. Let's sing. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. We are going to begin today by doing what my young friend's shirt says. Can you sit up for a moment? I want to show everyone. We are going to, it might say this backwards on your screen, read together. We are going to read together our Bible story. What does that say? It says read together. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to read our Bible story. Are you ready to hear our Bible story? Right when, now sit up, sit up. Yeah, and we're going to, we have to show pictures. This is what our story is about today. Walking on dry land. Now sit up. Can you put on your listening ears? Rub your ears. It helps us to listen if you rub your earlobes. It works for grown-ups too. Rub your earlobes and let's hear this story together. Right when the Israelites think they are free, Pharaoh sends his army after them. Now, remember the story of how the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. God wanted Pharaoh to let my people go. And Pharaoh did. But after they were gone, Pharaoh thought, what am I doing? Who will make my bricks? I need the Israelites back. Quick, Pharaoh called for his fastest chariot so that he could chase after the people he had just let go. <gasps> the Israelites saw them coming. How do you think they felt? Not free. Not free quite scared. They shouted to God, we told you something bad would happen. They shouted, we should have stayed and worked for the Egyptians. Now we'll all be killed in the middle of nowhere. Moses was there. Moses was the one who led them out of Egypt. And Moses said, don't be afraid. God will protect us. You'll never have to see the Egyptians again. God heard this and said, why are you so worried? Tell everyone to keep on moving to the sea. Moses, you will part the waters so that my people will walk on dry land. God's messenger and a tall cloud that was leading the Israelites moved behind them to protect them from the Egyptians. Moses stretched his arm over the sea. God blew the water out of the way so that the people could walk across on dry land. The Egyptians followed them. God lit the tall cloud with fire. The Egyptian army was frightened. Their chariot wheels stopped turning and they tried to run away. God told Moses to stretch his arm over the water again. The water crashed back onto the dry land. The army drowned in the sea right in front of the Israelites. They realized what God had done for them. They believed that God was their God. And finally, they trusted Moses. And here is a picture of how one artist imagines that happened. So I have a couple questions for you at home to talk about with your grown-ups, and for you, my young friend. How does the wind sound when it blows across the water? Yeah. That's how I think it sounds too. 
Have you ever seen an ocean or a big lake? Have you? Uh, uh, yes. Where have you seen? I think you saw the Gulf of Mexico. Where was that? Uh, by my own church. In Florida with grandma and granddad. Oh. Now think about that gulf or that ocean or that big lake. What would it look like if God blew all the water away? What would it look like? Uh. What do you think you might see? Uh. Um. Fish and seahorses. Fish and seahorses. And more sea creatures. And more sea creatures. We love sea creatures. Um, I bet you do too. And next week is sea week. Yeah, we're going to have fun with that. And so friends, we give thanks for God who watches over us and who protects us. The same God who watched mm -hmm. over the Israelites is watching over us here today. So let's give thanks with prayer. You can pray by repeating after me. Let's close our eyes and put our hands together. And you can repeat after me, dear God. Dear God. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for watching over us. Just like you did. Yeah, like you did. For the Israelites. For the Israelites. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a blessed and wonderful night. Bye. Bye.